I was just at a museum in Minneapolis and I noticed in one of the exhibits that they had the relationship between the sequence of squares and the sequence of odd numbers done a little differently than we do it, but it's a good visual representation of that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The exhibit was part of This Will Have Been, Art, Love, and Politics in the 1980s. And this particular piece is called Button Progression, done in 1986. And you can see it's buttons uh, on these stools. And the uh, array of buttons tells us that there's a relationship between the odd numbers and the sequence of squares. So I want to show you how that happens. OK, so I've got some dots down here. What I'm going to do then, here's the first square and the first odd number. There's just one of them. If I go to this dot and I try to make a square out of this, I'll put in some green dots. How many do I need to put in to make this a square? Three of them. And I have one plus three is four, the second square. Let's go to this dot. I'll go one, two, three to fill in that square. And then I'm going to go out here to one, two, three, four, five to make this square. So what do I have? One plus three plus five is nine. I can go out to this last one if I want. And let's see, let's make it one, two, three. And then I'll do the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Just trying to complete that square. And then finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a nice square right here with um, 16 dots, and it's one plus three plus five plus seven. If I add the first four odd numbers, I get the fourth square. So that's what this, when I saw this uh, exhibit in the uh, the museum in Minneapolis, it reminded me that there's a visual representation for the relationship between the sequence of squares and the sequence of odd numbers.